what we have now is a situation where I was just making a video a while ago and a young lady was passing behind me and she was telling me what is going on and asking me what's happening in St. Lucia. They're having all them food short shortages. People, let me tell you something. For many years, for many years, I've been asking people in St. Lucia to plant more food. This is not a new thing that is going on. And the other thing is, it grieves me sometimes. People just use big words with no sense. For years you've been hearing these people coming on radio and on television talking about um, food security, sustainability. They like to use nice words. Let me tell you something. We, as black people, in this Caribbean, like using big words and nice words on television. And some of us have no substance in terms of delivering for other people, you know. Just come and use big words. Man, we don't care about your words. It's better you speak broken English. Speak Creole. Speak Patois. Speak the local language of the people. Behave like you can even read and write, but yet deliver for other people. We ty I'm t Honestly, I'm tired of hearing them people come on radio. And on TV, especially people from the Ministry of Agriculture with big positions come in and talk about sustainable development, come in and talk about food security, a quote food security. Uh, yeah, it's almost like, and I tell you what's going on with some of them people they want to get funding from the European Union or wherever, so they send in the proposals and they sing the songs that the people want to hear. So the people like to hear things like sustainable development. When they hear things like sustainable development, um, food security, they, they, hey, this, hey, they're clapping, they're clapping. This is, what, this is a good proposal here. This is what I want to hear. The people of St. Lucia um, get it. The people of St. Lucia want food um, for sustainability, sustainability. So the right project saying that the people are poor, we can do this to improve on the food security and all of that. Now, here's why these things never work. Number one, the people that are really supposed to be in the position, in the, in the driver's seat to run these projects, are never the ones selected to run the project. Because apparently, they're from the wrong political party. So the ones that come in and um, talk and use big words, sustainable development and all of that, so they, you from the wrong political party, you, you know the thing. Sometimes you did, your, you did your thesis in that. You know that back and forth, and they will not give you a job because you're from the wrong party. And they will put a square peg in a wrong hole, round hole. That's how they do it. Now, the other thing that they do is we have X amount of million U.S. dollars from the EU to run a sustainable development food security papi show. So what they will do is a friend who, my friend, I, they already choose who will be the director, you know. Now, when the man sending the, um, they will send something out saying they're looking for somebody with a bachelor's or master's degree and to fill in that position as director of sustainable development, whatever, 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 Papi show they have on advertising. The man you see that they want that position for. If, let's say, he work in a certain area for exactly five years, their thing is designed where you need to have that, exper that experience for at least five years. Because they tailor the whole thing not to make sure that the project is done effectively, efficiently, and to deliver, you know. They tailor the thing for their friend to get the position. So how will you get that thing when you do not have exactly five years in that thing? You do not have exactly this thing, and you do not bow and kiss no man ring. That's another part again, but that's for a different vibe. Some people will never understand what that is, but just leave it there. You probably don't, don't have to understand. There are some knowledge you don't have to drop for some people. 
The same people you want to give knowledge to are the same ones who will bite your hands in the end. Let them go and, uh, uh, and pay for get their knowledge. So these are some of the things them people do. And they tailor the things for them, they and, them, they, they, they and their friends to get these positions. So at the end of the day, they men never intended for nothing to materialize in terms of the actual manifestation of that thing on the ground. So then what they do also is they will rally some farmers to come with some workshops, to come to some workshops, organized, give them a, f a, 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 a few meals and all of that, blah, 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 bring their things together and think, talk their foolishness, and at the end of the day, they never really plan for that thing to materialize on the ground. It is just something for some fellas to make some money. On their report, they will come and say X amount of people went to the proposal, this, that was done, and all of that match. They put them things on a shelf, and at the end of the day, nothing. The other thing is, go back 30, 40, 50, 60 years, and you will see that some of the same, propo um, the same proposals with different names calling for the same thing were done. And they put all of these things on shelf, and they never do nothing if it. You know, that's why sometimes, huh? Sometimes I wish that people were getting selected in St. Lucia for work based on a computer system, like a computer program would just select the best person for the job. Like there are certain, um, certain entries that they're making, they're giving points to whatever, if the person have a, a, a degree, whatever, um, four points. If the person have work, work experience, X amount of work experience, maybe 10 points or whatever, and, they, and you put it in, you, put, you plug it into the computer system, everybody will apply it and the computer will just spit out the best person for the job. When it comes to these things, I really believe in the use of computer programs to actually select people for work in St. Lucia. This is one of the things, the problems that we have. So they do all of this foolishness. Come with this, uh, this thing based on um, using big words, sustainable development, uh, um, food security. Go food security area. Where is the food security? Where is the food security? If boats cannot come to this country for two months, what will happen in this place? If no boats, none can come, what will happen? And no, and Amerijet can't deliver, deliver nothing. No boats, nothing can come for two months. What will happen in this country? And you're talking about food security. How can you have food security when you have a system where your best farmlands are being abandoned and the people who are trained in farming are going and work security jobs in castries for three dollars an hour? That is regression. You cannot have people training farming, leaving farming, and going and work castries for three dollars or three dollars and something cents per hour security work. That's development. That's progress. Huh? You have all your lands being abandoned, and that does not create a state of emergency in the country. Man, when you drive around and you find out all of these farmlands are abandoned, that's supposed to call, you're supposed to call an emergency meeting. Call man from their sleep. Wake man from by their, by, their, by their wife and tell him, come to a meeting now. We have a problem in the country. Why is it that I, drive, I drove over in this place and I seen every, um, all the places that used to be the, the breadbasket of the country abandoned? You all don't have gold. We don't have gold. Eh? We don't have bauxite. We have nothing really that we can really export in terms of minerals. All we have, Chuck just said, all we have is um, seawater and sand. We have fertile lands. You, when you abandon your fertile lands and you can't make money out of it, where are you going to get money from? What are you going to do? What are you going to do? Let me tell you something. You abandon your farmlands. And I will put it to you and I'm going to ask you this question. Is cocaine money and marijuana money sustaining the economy of the country? Belle question, comme Is the rural economy of St. Lucia 
been sustained from the sales or trade of cocaine and marijuana. So sometimes you hear people come and they budget and they talk about how the, the economy grow by whatever percent and whatever percent and all of that. Man, I like books, but sometimes the book can make no sense if I'm hungry, you know, man. Even if you come and quote your percentages and the people on the ground hungry and they're feeling nothing. Even if you're making all this money in tourism and all the money is in Miami, it's staying. Hmm? All the money is staying in Miami. And you're talking about sustainable development. Sustainable development. Pushing the tourism industry alone. Pushing the tourism industry. They're talking about how they put money in agriculture too. But compared to tourism, how much do you all put in agriculture? When them people, when these people book their flight to come to this country or to the whatever hotel they come to, more than that, the, the money does not even touch the country. The money is in these foreign um, um, places, England and, 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 and America. That's where the money is and the people come here. And the other thing too, these all-inclusive hotels. From the time I was a baby growing up, I'm hearing people complaining about these all-inclusive hotels and they still come. I'm not hearing, man. How can you bring in white people or um, uh, foreigners into your country as tourists and, it's, and everything that they eat is from your hotel? Then they, when they go out of the hotel is on your buses. Hmm? Everything is you selling it. And the thing about it, Tessa, them people, when they write in their proposals to bring their hotels, they're always making you believe that they're going to give X amount that all these people will be employed. The, um, the, your local farmers will be able to sell everything that they have and all kind of thing. Look at how these people behaving. These same guys that building that hotel by um, Casaba, Casaba, whatever they call it, I don't even know the proper English name for it. They building that hotel there. And they're talking about how they want to give, they want to fund this and they want to fund that. You see how nice they're trying to be? Good um, corporate citizen or whatever they call them. They're trying to be nice and all of that. Wait till them boys come inside of there. Then they will try to tell you how you cannot come by the beach and all of those things. Let me tell you something. St. Lucians are very good people still. St. Lucians are very good people still. You understand? And at the end of the day, man, Create a, you listen to me, let me tell you something. Eh? If by any any if by any miracle, if by any miracle a man like me ever have any influence in St. Lucia, or worst of be a prime minister in St. Lucia, there could not be one um all inclusive hotel again. Eh? I learn a lot plus extra, no pavle, yeah. No pavle sa pies pa many sa ici, eh? And the thing is, I was putting something in place where Pierce Moon that have been built hotels at least in La ni moon, no ni moon um, um, American la. Ha, we are people in England, we are people. I go in England personally, America, whatever. It is time to come and build hotels in the country. Moon that have been built hotels here. But come in here, you You have to look out for your people too. No ni no to have moon, you from party to party. No ka we akko de se moon la just pou keta pou foreigners an pey yae. Et là où même à dans en ces foreign countries, ça, c'est mon gars qui est un peu trop trop conscient, ça. Vous comprenez? C'est mon gars qui vient ici. Best tout bagay, vous avez venu ici. Best tout bagay, nous avons venu ici. Mais là où on a placé, un petit moto qui a drive, police qui vient, là où on a eu, yo a eu, yo a eu, yo a yo a your car fit the description of a car that was involved in a robbery. To match it, to be easy, book a window. And when they come to your land, you giving them the best. I wrote proposal to you all in Viewfort way before that hosting came there. Me as a local man, asking you all to give me a, an opportunity. Look for some land for me to do a project. You all write letter back to me. Telling me that um, uh, um, y'all can y'all don't have at this time and all kind of thing. Y'all don't have land. 
You could have given me a piece of land by view foot. You'll never give it to me. And you see how fast you'll take all the land to give that Chinese boy? You think I can go to China and get land over Chinese in China? Eh? You'll never give me the opportunity. But look, you all can take all them acres of land and give it to Chinese for 99 US cents per acre per year. And you'll never give me a place. Eh? I am the kind of man. I am the kind of man that was supposed to tell myself I could never come back to that country, St. Lucia. Because of political reasons, I have been squeezed. You understand? People make sure that I never eat a bread in St. Lucia. Just because I was supporting the Labour Party. Hmm? Because I was supporting Brother Kenny. I was supporting the Labour Party. The people make sure that I never got a good job in St. Lucia. I have more to say about that. All you all do is frustrate people. And when the same thing happened to you all, you're talking about people victimize you all. The same land you're giving them Chinese people for 99 cents per acre per year. I wrote you all in view for telling you all to look for a piece of land for me. You all had all of them lands there. You all never give me a piece. And then you're giving the whole thing to Chinese people. La mwen pay tax mwen. Papa mwen pay tax la. From the time mwen ti ma mai mwen sa papa mwen kata ka pay tax. Mwen vini pay tax tou. Ek ma sa mem hen. Zo mem approve an chow te ban pou an fan projet. Ek zo ki te Chinese vini si a zo bay. Zo de kai ban pou 1400 isi pou ek a pou he. Zo bay se Chinese la le pou 99 cents pou ek a pou for 99 years, it's the one who set a place la. So, Papa, eh, give you a letter and tell me that um, we receive your thing, we get it, we're going to put it, we have it on file, if anything, I think. So, Papa, I can't get, um, get through it with me. So, 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 get through of the Chinese la. Hmm? That's how you want to run business in the country? That's the kind of game you want to play. There are many reasons why crime is going on. But I want to ask, some of these boys who committing them crimes in Viewford, I want to ask if, perchance, you people were not responsible for frustrating their parents or even them and getting to the, them to the point of what is happening there. But... This is St. Lucia, where we are happy. There is a song that I heard recently. It's an old song. But um, it was only recently I understood the words to the song. Where one of the guys was actually in a, it's an old band. That police mute on Jimmy band. It's an, it was actually an old song. But one of the guys who were actually part of the band was actually singing the song on... Um, that thing, uh, how you call it again? Um, street vibes. And he said one of the verses of the song was, um, Yo point fizi sous fizi sous ek And they went to Mon Jimmy. And I'm saying that, An shy de le, Lani an shy sous Ek wom ye. Ki ka blok moun set li si. And sometimes people blame the politicians and the politicians ain't nothing about that. Me se souse, se souse ya. Souse, vole, wom ye. Se yo, an chay se bouk sa ka blok moun an pe ya. But we will see how long that will go for. Keep the fire burning.